He made a mistake. For the witness, it's not a mistake. Suicide. Please, don't try to impress me. Impress you? I don't even want to know you. If I'd have told you upstairs, you'd have walked away, right? Just what I'm going to do you now. You can't, Harry. You know too much. I'd have to hold you as a material witness. What am I supposed to do? Turn and run? Fast and far. OK, slow down. Oh. Could we hold just a second? There ain't nobody going to get out alive except me and Johnny Boy. Doesn't figure, Captain. Why does a big shot like Kylie wipe out a punk like Nichols in broad daylight? He made a mistake. For the witness, it's not a mistake. Suicide. Only if he's convicted. Meaning he'll try to get the witness? He's done it before. <sighs> Captain, what does Harry Orwell have to do with this? A lot. Harry, how you doing? How are you, Pete? Hi, Harry. Well, I'll make it till pension. What can I do for you? I've been trying to nail Joe Kiley for five years, Harry. Yeah, I was trying myself for three years before that. We've got Kylie in jail. We've got a witness to the killing in protective custody. If we lose the witness, we lose Kylie. Well, that's the situation. That's why this witness is so important. Who's the witness? A doctor just driving along and bland. Kylie shoots Nichols. The doctor saw the killing? A few feet away, absolute ID. Well, then you got Kylie. Only as long as we've got a witness. Well, what do I commit? What do you want from me? This one said she never saw or heard of Joe Kiley in her whole life. Swore it on oath. This one was killed. Hit and run. Never found the driver. I always wondered what kept him out of jail. Well, now you know. Every witness we ever had was either bought off, scared off, or killed off. Take a look at that one. That one just disappeared. That was two years ago. Every one of these witnesses could have nailed Kylie. You got him in jail now. Yeah, but not all of his horses. And this new witness isn't going to last 24 hours unless I do something about it quick. I get the feeling that's where I come in, right? Right. Right. We've known for years that Kylie's had someone on the inside tipping off all our moves. An informant? In reverse, yes. Somebody who knows everything that we say and do. But you don't know who? 
Or how? I can't even put this doctor in protective custody because I'm not sure I can give any protection. And? And what I want you to do is to play bodyguard just for a couple of hours until I've got time to bring in some of my best men and stand a solid 24-hour watch. It's that bad. You want me to go through the slides again? No. Now, I hate to tell you this, Harry, but we thought we had Nichols covered. Nobody was supposed to know where he was. This is some kind of a joke, Pete. You got a hundred cops on the premises right now. And any one of them could be the hitman. Do you want to tell me which one? Now, I've got a little beach house. You can spend the day there. It'll be okay. Practically nobody knows that yeah, I am. Yeah, well, you just tell me when you're finished so I can get a word in. I'm not finished yet. You're close. Well, there's no use kidding ourselves. When you leave here with the doctor, both of you are going to be targets. And I want your arm. I don't like guns. Well, that doesn't make any difference. You just pick one. No, you pick one. You're the gun maven. All right. Not that I think anything's going to happen. I just want to be prepared. Huh? Yeah. Uh, just a second. You have to sign for the gun, civilian. What is it? Okay. I'll be right there. Dr. Sear. You want to tell me if this is a paying job or if I'm doing a favor for the department? Why? I can always say no to a job. The doctor went home to get a few things. You're going to meet Coley Harris downstairs. Harris is a special prosecutor for the state. He's been on the Kylie thing for years with us. One thing more, Harry. This doctor isn't all that crazy for cops. I'm not that crazy for doctors. Nothing political, just a nice big dislike for authority. Yeah, I know the type. I'm not so sure you do, Harry. Here's Harris. Why don't you find out? You the guard? Call it Harris. Jacqueline, fill you in? Harry Orwell, yeah, he did. I assume you picked a safe location. I didn't, he did. Good, then only you two know it. You say so. Is that the doctor? Uh-huh. Dr. Kira, this is Mr. Howell. Orwell. Orwell. How do you do, doctor? Just fine. Listen, this is absurd. Could we find some other way of doing this? It's not my idea, it's Jacqueline's. But I have no intention of spending the entire afternoon in some cheap motel room discussing bowling averages with a bored policeman who'd prefer to be at home with his wife watching television. No offense, Mr. Elwell. Orwell, like in 1984. Excuse me. Orwell. And I'm not married, and excuse me, and pardon me. Certainly. Thanks a lot. If I'd have told you upstairs, you'd have walked away, right? Just what I'm gonna do you now. You can't, Harry. You know too much. I'd have to hold you as a material witness. You're a son of a... I know. I really am. It's true. I hope you don't make it to pension. There you go, Harry boy. I'll see you in a couple of hours. If I was married, I wouldn't spend my afternoons watching television. Pete? I hope you know what you're doing, pal. My office is furious. Look, Harris, I got enough troubles without you and all those Clarence Darrows telling me what to do. <laughs> Look, don't get edgy. We're all after the same thing. I just hope uh, this Orwell person knows what he's doing. If anybody does, Harry does. Yeah. Where are we going? The beach. You're like a fool. Uh, me too. You see, we have something in common already. Well, we're getting out. Out? Yeah. You mean we aren't playing cloak and dagger anymore? Yeah, 
Every cop in the garage has got to make a number of this car. It's what we call in the spy business a setup. Come on. Are you serious? I'm serious. Come on. <laughs> hey! Exactly on the corner of Dow. Fun, huh? What kind of doctor are you? Ear, nose, and throat. What kind of cop are you? Foot, knee, and elbow. What's your first name, Mr. Orwell? Harry, after the barn. You're just chock full of witty sayings, aren't you? That's what you expect from me, isn't it, doctor? Hey, Harry, let me ask you a question. Go ahead. Why all this kitty pop gun stuff? I mean, I have an office full of people. I have two patients in the hospital. And I have a private life that I might want to live now and then. I understand. No, I don't think you do. I have a certain way of living, and I resent it being interrupted. Even to save your life? Please, don't be melodramatic. I'll see that you get a commendation from your chief, or whatever it is you call them. But please, don't try to impress me. Impress you? I don't even want to know you. Stop the car. We've only got a few more. Uh, stop the car! Yeah. All right, get out. I'll tell you this, Doctor, but you're not going to last 20 minutes walking a straight line. I didn't even know that, Joe Kiley. Did you see the man he killed? Yes. Then he knows you. What am I supposed to do, turn and run? Fast and far. Well, that's not my style. May I help you? Uh, we're just looking. You don't seem to understand, Mr. Orwell. I'm not afraid. You don't seem to understand, Dr. Kira. I am. They find you, they find me. You're saying that I might endanger your life? What I'm saying is, let's get off the streets, then you can argue with me until birds drink booze. Come on. This is ridiculous. Yes, I know. I could have been bowling. Oh, knock it off, Orwell. Just call me Harry. All the foot, knee, and elbow people do. <laughs> Captain, I picked them up at 4.30, and I'll tell you where to go at 4. You're not taking any chances, are you? Not this time. I don't want anything to go wrong. Captain, we're not going to lose this one, are we? Not if I can help it. So far, only two people know where they are, me and Harry. And Harry's too smart to be followed. Come in, brother. See you, Coley. See you, man. You got your office squared away? Down to the mail, boys. Don't worry about us. We'll do our part. You just make sure your guys do theirs. What do you think we're doing out this place jumping like a Marine boot camp? Well, let's not forget. We'd have had Kylie put away a long time ago. If it hadn't been for one of your boys with his hand out. You don't know any such thing. It could have been anybody. Whatever. Any rate, it looks like we got him now. Semper Fi, pal. Fernando's hideaway. Jacqueline's junkyard. You speak French? Huh? Yeah, enough to know what you're thinking. Where it is. Tobacco Road. Well, who are you expecting, Jack the Ripper? It's being prepared. Oh, like the Boy Scouts. You think this is fun and games, don't you? Hardly. 
Uh, maybe in your world, people like Joe Carly don't exist, but he's real, believe me. I don't have to let him have anything to do with my you life. do now. What if I don't testify against him? Who can make me? Just your conscience. Well, I resent it. I resent having to give up my time to catch some cheap hoodlum. It's not my business. Well, whose business is it? It's yours. People like you. Oh, they're A people and B people, is that it? That's not what I mean. What it sounded like. I didn't want to know you. I didn't want to know the police. I didn't want to know Joe Kiley or Joe Blow. Isn't that clear? What happens when you, me, and Mr. Kiley converge? Am I supposed to leave you alone then? I don't believe in violence. Well, is it my job to save your life or is it your job? And what happens when Kylie climbs your ivory tower? You blow the whistle, ask somebody to come along and be violent for you? I want to see him in jail, too. You don't want to chip your fingernails getting him there. You're an A person. Are you finished, Orwell? Ooh, I'm fin Hey, we're back to the last name again, huh? I'll tell you something, Slim. Just a couple of more hours and you'll never have to see me again. In a couple of more hours, I won't even remember your name. Let's have a nice, quiet afternoon. Okay, slow down. Slow down. And now turn. Turn right to there. <laughs> well, what do you know? <laughs> yeah, it's Dave. Yeah, we got him. Man, that thing worked like you said it would. Now, don't worry about anything. Ain't nobody gonna get out alive except me and Johnny Boy. Right. Later. Well, now, man says we blow it, and we're dead. You get the girl. I want the cop. You want some coffee? Do you want some coffee? She doesn't want any coffee. Okay, now look, you go around the back, I'll cover the front. And let's say, oh, exactly five up, we'll bust in. Don't tell me, Al Capone. Be quiet. Well, do I have to? I said be quiet. What is it? Two men, one out front, one going around the back. I don't understand. Kylie's men. You said no one followed you. You said no one knew where we were. How, how could they find us? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I mean, I don't know. This is some kind of joke. What do we do? <laughs> Close the kitchen door. Stay there. Now, 
You pull the door open and jump away, you understand? I think so. We're gonna get out of here is up there, at least in one piece. Now you make it up the ladder, I'll keep him here. Now don't argue with me, just go on, get out of here.
Are you all right? Yeah. How's your side? It hurts like hell. Well, let me look at no, it. No, no, let's get out of here. They know where to find us. Oh, I know. I thought only you and Jacqueline knew. So did I. Yeah, it's Dave. Hey, look, now they, they, they got away. How do I know, man? They got away. He's dead. He's dead. Believe me, he's dead. I don't know. I don't know. I'll turn it on. One minute. Hey, I got it. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear it. Hey, man, don't worry. I want him as much as you do. Where are we going? You want the truth? I don't know. Shouldn't we call the captain? Well, you know, he isn't the one that told. Harry, I'm sorry about before. Forget it. I just thought you were playing cops and robbers. Well, I was, and I am. Should do the old Claudette Colbert number. Well, I want to get us picked up, not arrested. I want to sit down.
Right, right. All right, in the cars. If everything's okay, you should be back in half an hour. Suppose everything's not okay, Pete. Don't think it. Yeah. Breathe for a while. What was it you said about quiet afternoons? What was it you said about playing cops and robbers? I talk too much. Yes, you do. How did they find us, Harry? Now we're back to Harry, huh? How did they know how to find us? I don't know. But they knew exactly the road to take. And that's not possible. That's not possible. Unless. What is it? It's a homing device. You've been bugged, lady. Frisk yourself. You've been transmitting all day since this morning. Can't believe it. Well, now you know how important you are to Kylie. His men will turn the earth over to find you. If he falls, they fall. Who could have done this? You tell me. Well, I don't know. I, I was around a dozen policemen all day. That's a piece of good news. Well, what do I do now? Who do I trust besides you? No one until we find out who it is. Is he that big? Kylie, I mean? Let me put it to you this way. Wherever he sits is the head of the table. I see. Yeah. Whoever that was, that was him. No, there's nobody here. Pete, I'm telling you, the place is deserted. Believe me, they're gone. Okay. All right, you got it. Let's go. you supposed to say it's only a flesh wound? It's only a flesh wound. And I'll live? You'll live. You're not very talkative, are you? When I have something to say, I usually say it. You don't think I notice? This is my first gun wound. Welcome to the club. You've been shot before? Yeah, I've been shot before. Never thought of it. You didn't have to. I've always been deathly afraid of guns. I never saw one before today. Uh, you had no reason to. Just the cops and robbers, maybe. That's all. You're no longer with the police, are you, Henry? I'm retired, sort of. Why? Why, Harry? Uh, I got shot once too much. You know, I don't know anything about you. Hey, I'm easy. I try to say yes more than I say no. I take vitamin C in the morning, and I still like more people than I don't. And you try not to get too serious when the subject is you. You're wrong. I'm very serious, especially about me. I don't think anyone will look for you in your own place, not for a while. Where are you going? Out to catch rat. Give me your keys. This way I can let myself in. You won't have to open the door. Can you use this? No. Yes. You don't know? No. That's all right. A few people can. <laughs> Just the foot, knee, and elbow people. That's right. Every one of them. I'll be back as soon as I can. Hurry. I won't like being alone all day. Dr. Kara, 
I can't keep tomorrow's appointment. My ballet company called a rehearsal, and, and I can't make it. But, uh, but I'll call again as soon as I know my schedule. Thank you. I didn't like where I was going. I didn't like what I was coming to. I didn't even like thinking about it. Peter Jacqueline and I had been friends for a long time. If I was right, that would change. And even if I was wrong, that would probably change too. Harry! You make me believe you're not the filth I'm looking for. What are you talking about? You set me up, Pete, and me and the girl. Tell me I'm right or tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. Harry, take it easy. That's a real gun you've got aimed at me. Then who planted the bug on her? I don't know. Harry, it's me. Remember me? I'm trying, Peter. I'm trying, so you tell me from the top, from the beginning. What happened? From the killing. From the top! I got a report of a killing. Dr. Kira saw the whole thing. Kylie saw her. I got there as fast as I could. I didn't know who I could trust in the department, so I thought of you. And you sent Cole to get me? That's right, Cole. I sent Cole. Well, Cole was getting me. Where was Dr. Kira? She was with... Harris. Coley Harris. Coley Harris. She was with him when she went to change clothes. No one else. Uh, this should teach you to trust the department, Peter. Where's Harris? Man, when you take a job, you take a job. When I take a job, I take a job. Where's Harris? I don't know. Where's Kira? At her place. Could Harris know that? I don't know how. Dr. Kira, it's Harris. It's okay. Harry Orwell sent me. Doctor, please, it's urgent. You can't stay here. They know where you are. Please listen to me. I know about the beach house, the two men. Harry told me. Doctor, doctor, please. How can I make you believe me? Think about it. I know you're in there. Harry told me. How else would I know? You sure you don't want some support? I'll get her, you get Harris. I'll put an all points clear up to Oregon. I'll get him. See you when you get back. Don't do that. Where are we going? We just keep driving. I'll tell you when to turn. How did you know I was home? Your telephone. I called all day, and it was on record until the last time, and then it rang. You turned off the machine.
car on this side. Straight to the door. Got it. All day, it was her enemy, and I almost forgot it. Now it was the last chance to live, but only if she was smart enough to know it. We're here. Where are the men you sent? I don't understand. Are you out of your mind? I can't do it. You'll have to send someone else. No, no, I understand that. I've never done anything like that. I don't think I can. No. I understand that. Listen to me. now we wait here till I work up the courage to use this few people can never even given the thought I have this wasn't supposed to happen I was supposed to leave here and never see you again it's what they said it's what they told me now, everything is ruined. Do you understand that? Do you? kill me. Do you see what you've done? Do you? Now hold it right there, Harris. Harry! Who's out there? Put the gun down, Harris. We're all around you. No, you're not. No, you're not! That's you, isn't it, Orwell? Come down here where I can see you. Come down here right now or I'll kill her. I swear I will. Come on up here. Up here. And throw the gun down. Throw it over there. Now. All right, don't get nervous. Put your hands up. But you get me, they get you, and we get nothing. You know what I mean, pal? What are you talking about? There are 300 cops on the way here right now. You're lying. You want to take the chance? You don't even know how I found you. You left the transmitter in her pocket. No! You stay there. You stay right there.
once said that a life which doesn't go into action is a failure. By that standard, Noelle won the Grand National and the Kentucky Derby when she fired the shot that saved our lives. She came through for me. But I think she came through for herself, too. You know, the loneliest and most courageous moment of all can be finding out that ultimately we're all responsible for ourselves. When you come close to death, you tend to think a lot about the heavy stuff. You know, about how little you've seen or done or how swift a foot race really is to the big bottom line in the sky, and naturally, you think about the person who gave it all back to you. Well, let's face it, Harry, having an ear, nose, and throat specialist save your neck isn't exactly an everyday event. Harry? Oh, well, uh, right How's your side? My side? Fine. Lieutenant Quinlan said that I shouldn't worry about the inquest. Piece of cake. Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. I've decided to go away for a while, right after this is over. Lieutenant Quinlan gonna give you some protection? Yes. Well, if he says he'll protect you, he'll protect you. He's reliable. I know. I'm a very important witness. I like you, Harry. You're straight. You told me what was, and it was. Really sorry, Harry. We really got to go now. Ten o'clock. Let me ask you something. When's your birthday? Uh, next month. Why? Happy birthday, Manny. <laughs>